Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So probably, I don't know at what point you're going to see what video, hopefully back to back, maybe in the same day, maybe the next day. You have no way to do what I'm talking about, do you? I did a TJ Maxx shop along with me, which turned out to be quite long. I haven't gotten into editing yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be too long to actually go over all of the things that I did buy. So I thought that I would split this up into two videos because it was like a gold mine. It was heaven. No, that's someone else's tagline. I don't want to steal that. Let's just say it was a gold mine that I found of the stuff, at least to me anyway. Let's just get into the things that I purchased. I do want to get the big things out of the way because I think I might need not one of them right now. As a matter of fact, you'll see. Hold on a second. I bought myself a fan. It happens to be pink. It happens to be cute. And it's low profile and small. The other fan that I was using up here was rather large. And it gets to be a thousand degrees up here. So I bought myself a little fan. And if I figured if I had to buy one, it may as well be cute. This is from Breeze Lux, I think. And it was $29.99, which is, you know, a little pricey, but not as pricey, I guess, as things could get. This will fit. I'm not going to plug it in right now. I was going to, I think. Um, it does swivel, so you can adjust the height. And this is going to come in very, very handy because in order for me to film in this spot, I, I got to have it less than 100 degrees, you know? So this was a very worthwhile investment for me. Now, I really didn't need shoes, but I did pick up two pairs of shoes. Well, I kind of needed them. See, with my MS, I can no longer wear the, wear the most amazing, gorgeous heels that I used to wear all the time. And I'm actually going to be selling them on Poshmark and then donating some of the rest. But I had these gorgeous boots with these heels that I adored and I can't wear them anymore because my balance is gone. So I saw these from Lucky Brand. And Lucky Brand is normally one that I wouldn't spend that much on. But these are on clearance for $48. And they're nice, low-heeled, but still stylish boots that I can wear with my suits and my dress pants at work. And or just, I was going to say, going out. <laughs> like I do that. But you know what I mean. I think I can get a lot of use out of these for the winter. Granted, there are boots, but you know, if you can get boots at the end of the year, so what? These will be vel, vel, <laughs> very well loved and used. They also have this very cool texture on them. I don't know if you can see. They're a suede material, so I may have to make sure that I treat them so they don't get ruined. And again, sometimes I don't want to always wear flats at work so i have a pair similar to these in blue but the heel is a little bit higher but this is a nice thick block heel that i will feel secure in these are naturalizers so these are really good and really comfortable it's in a beautiful nude color with the crisscross strap these are only 29.99 and i think again i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of these because all of my gorgeous skinny heeled heels um have to go bye bye so i really like these of course you know i had to stop by and in the aisle that leads up to you know the register while you're waiting the line wasn't too too bad as a matter of fact i saw these peaches and i love the peach rings they are just i love gummy candy and these are so good and they were 3.99 for this big old bag which i normally pay like that for like the little ones so I'm a happy girl. One might say that I went a little crazy with the face wipes. Um, I probably did go crazy with the face wipes, but they were there and they weren't expensive and I went with them. So I do really like the Shea Butter. These were the Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Facial Wipes with Frankincense and Myrrh. Made me think of Christmas. And for normal to dry skin, these were $3.99. I've tried the Shea Moisture ones before. I haven't tried this one, so I think I like them. They have glycerin and all kinds of other good things for your skin, so I like these. At least I think I will. Then I found the Yes 2, the Argan Oil 2-in-1 Cleansing Moisturizing Facial Wipes. I really like Yes 2 products, and these are only $2.99, and you get quite a lot in here. You're getting 30 so I thought that these would be nice as well. I said I don't use these all the time. I do use some of the ones I don't like for swatches. These I really do like. This is the Hawaiian uh, from Alba Botanica 3-in-1 Clean Towelettes with Pineapple Enzyme. I do like these. I have the papain 
and uh, Papain is good for you because it's exfoliating without harsh exfoliation. These were $3.99 and I have used these before and I like them. Then I got these because these were just interesting to me. This is the Pacifica Cherry Kisses Hydrating Lipstick Wipes with Vitamin E and Coconut Oil for easy lip color changes or removal. I thought these would be so cool. They were on clearance for a dollar, so I was definitely going to get them. I am very excited to give these a shot and see how well they take off lipstick when I want to change up a lipstick. And they, they smell good smell like cherries like cherry candy yay let me tell you i mentioned this in my video if you need shampoo conditioner hair care they have like everything and stuff that sells for two and three times the price in ulta so i saw this bio silk silk therapy finishing spray the finishing sprays are not hair sprays they are like what they say they're finishing sprays they add some shine and um they control the frizz so let's try this out smells really good. Hmm, interesting. I haven't tried this in a very long time. This is a great size can. It was on clearance for six dollars. So I was like, why am I going to leave this there? So that's why I picked that up. I did also find this Dera Putics, Dermaputics. I haven't heard of them before, but this is the Hyaluronic Lift Hydrating Facial Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Olive Oil. And I, it also says it's vegan, no parabens, silicones, and no alcohol, which is fabulous. It was on clearance for six bucks. I don't know what the actual price of it is, but it comes in a nice blue bottle. And I'm going to try this on right now. It has a nice fresh scent. It's got a bit of a strong sprayer, but again, that doesn't bother me because you can always transfer it into another bottle. But I like it for six dollars. Awesome. Now, this one intrigued me. You saw this, me talk about this in school. In, in school? In store. Oh, sorry guys. My aphasia is really acting up. Another symptom of the MS is the aphasia. And it's been really acting up, as you can tell in my videos. And I don't cut out the, the mistakes because, you know, it is what it is. I am who I am, so I'm not perfect. Anyway, this is the Pearl Essence, which we have gotten samples of before. Hemp Seed Oil, Soothing Facial Oil. It's got like three ingredients in it. I have no idea what hemp seed oil is going to do for your skin, but it's in everything these days. The thing is, it feels like a very, well, it doesn't even have a scent, but it's a nice dry oil that actually soaks into your skin does not sit on top. Can't wait to give you my thoughts on that one. And yay, I got my wet brush. My wet brush was several years old and the little ball tips were broken off. So every time I would run it through my hair, it would catch and it was destroying my hair. So I threw it in the garbage and I got this one and I just thought it was so pretty. Now, this was $5.99. They are selling this exact same brush in Ulta on sale right now for $11.99 which I actually bought one stupidly, but I didn't know if I was going to go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anything. So, you can see how discounted they really are, and this is indeed the original wet brush. It's not one of the dupes, and I just thought it was so pretty with the metallic pink. This is the only brushes that do wonderful things for my hair. They have another one that's vented that's supposed to help with blow drying, but I don't have to worry about that right now. Yes, yes, I did get another mist. This is from Coop and Daisy, which I have heard of. I actually think they're quite expensive as far as I know. Certainly their packaging is. It is a glass bottle with a cap um, on here that is a double cap. It's got the smaller one. I thought it was quite a fancy. And this is a watermelon facial mist. Everyone's getting on that train. It looks to me, I didn't have my glasses with me, but... I think it has some good ingredients, so let's just see what it smells like, because of course I didn't test it in store, because I'm not that girl. Wait, I'm just going to be glowing all over the place. That is another one with a very strong sprayer. You can stay far away from it and use it, and it will be just fine. It smells nice. It does not have an overwhelming smell, but it has a nice fruity smell. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Spray has a much stronger smell to it. So I thought this would be nice too. One other non-makeup or face care thing. 
I like writing thank you cards to people. I also like putting them in my boxes for giveaways and stuff like that. So I just picked up a cute little box of thank you cards for $3.99 and I thought they were really pretty. And yeah, I just liked them. One more thing, non-makeup. Uh, this is a hand soap from Ocean Breeze. Oh, it's from the bath shop. It's the Ocean Breeze hand soap. It comes in a nice glass reusable bottle. It's still got the little thing on here so that you know it hasn't been used. These bottles are really nice to like uh, display on, this one's for my kitchen. You know, display and just use because they're pretty, they're just pretty. Mmm, this is really nice. It does smell like an ocean breeze. It smells like the beach, which is really cool. And this is only $5.99 and this is a lot of hand soap. Now let's get into the makeup. I could not believe that I found this. It was just one lying around. It was $17.99 and it is the Neo Highlighter from Kevin Aquan. It was not swatched. Comes in its bougie little velvet baggie. Now when I got it, when I opened it, obviously people had opened it so it was fingerprinty but it wasn't swatched. But the packaging is gorgeous, kind of ombre and purple. And look how pretty. It still has the Kevin Aquan on there. Absolutely stunning feels like freaking velvet. Now, interestingly enough, it's not that highlighty. Um, I don't even think you can see that it's highlighted. You can see on my finger. This will be interesting. I'm wondering if it's a highlighter powder, but just meant for like highlights to accent, but not glowy glowy. I'm not sure. That was a little bit of a disappointing swatch, I will tell you. But I will keep you updated for sure. But I was Kevin Aquan and I could not leave it there. They also had this Anastasia Blush Trio on sale on clearance for $9, which I had to get it. The packaging is beautiful. It was untouched, of course. This is the pink one, by the way. They feel very soft. And I think all of the colors, maybe this one might be a bit too pinky for me. I'm not sure. They look beautiful and I cannot wait to play with them. Even the um, sticker is still on the mirror keeping it clean which I thought was awesome. And for nine dollars, yeah. Now I wanted to try this. This was only $2.99. It's the Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. Love my MAC paint sticks but sometimes I don't want to use the white. But this looks like it's really going to be nice. It actually has a, a moussey texture to it, so I don't think it's going to be drying. It has a slight pinky hue to it. I'm going to be very excited to try that. Next, there were like three or four of these, and I had never tried it. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but it was $12.99. And it is the Too Faced Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. I love the package. It looks just like the Papa Don't Preach untouched. Look at how beautiful that is. I hate to even try it. It does smell like peaches. It has almost a, a, it has a very smooth texture to it. It is slightly luminescent, so I think as a finishing powder, it's just going to give you, it's right here, I think it's just going to give you like just a nice finish. And it smells like peaches and it was $12.99. I think this was originally over $30. So yay. I did get one of the Vice Special Effects lipsticks. This one is in White Lie. Now a girl who works there told me the trick to seeing if something is swatched or not. Because you saw in my video, or if you didn't see, I'm going to link that video below by the way. I'm always afraid of liquid lipsticks for fear that they have been swatched already. I don't mind if they're taken out of the box, but I don't want them swatched. So she said you open this, you pull this, and if there is nothing... Look, I'm doing it down here. If there's absolutely no product around here, around here, or inside of the cap, it means no one has touched it. So I was like, oh, okay, so that's a really good way to tell. You don't want to pull it all the way out or else it's going to look like you swatched it when you didn't. I just got to try this on really quickly. And I may as well use the mirror. I have one of these already and I don't use it too often. I think it was a little gritty, but I'll, let's, remi let's remind myself. I 
I forgot that it's got a brush tip. Okay, now obviously that is very, very intense. You don't have to put it on that intense, but it's fun. Um, and I like it. And I bet you, you can probably wear this on your eyes if you wanted to. I will look it up and see if it's eye safe because that would be like awesome. You know, it doesn't go with this, but I don't care. They had one of these brushes. Now look at the box. It was completely beat up. It was $12.99 and I said, why am I even going to bother looking? It's got to be destroyed. This is the Becca One Perfecting Brush. I saw a few people in their TJ Maxx videos that they had found it. But look, it was perfectly in its packaging, completely untouched. So just the box was destroyed. That's why you really have to like investigate. No idea what I'm going to use this brush for. But it was stinking cute and I had to have it. All right, it is so soft. This would be good for um, body if you're putting anything on your body. Or, I mean, you can even use it for your face. But this is a silicone... Um, it's kind of a wedge handle. It's got like a nice silicone grip to it, but I can see me putting on like, you know, my body stuff and everything like that. I like it. I'm glad I picked it up. I just recently saw this online. I think it was like $25 or something. I paid $9.99 for it. Is This is the Laura Geller Iconic New York London Downtown Cool Eyeshadow Palette. It was very fingerprinty. Again, doesn't really bother me as long as the product isn't touched and it was not. I actually stabbed it by accident with this. These are the colors, that lovely pop of blue, but I'm really loving this yellowy gold and this purple and I think these are going to create beautiful smoky looks. And it's even got that orange, really very soft. Wow, look at that blue. Those are beautiful. For 10 bucks, I absolutely love it. I gotta swatch that gold one. Oh, it's so soft. Look, look at this. Wow. I love it. I'm glad I have it. I've seen it, I've been eyeing it online, you know, Sephora on her website for a long time, so yay. I also saw this palette they had so many things by the way i opened about 12 lipsticks or more and they were all swatched it was disgusting me i was just getting so annoyed they had a few of these and several of them were swatched and the one i really really wanted was also swatched but this one was not and it's the montauk escape face palette it was 7.99 it even had the little insert has the names on the back it's very pretty and then look at the color story this looks like such an awesome, cool toned bronzer. I absolutely love it. It's got that gorgeous purple. It's got three mattes and one shimmer and that blush. And even though I wanted the other one more, I just thought this was so pretty, so I got it. That is it, my friends. That is my haul. It was quite the haul for sure. I'm very happy that I got that fan because that is gonna come in extremely handy very, very soon for sure. And if you guys go to TJ Maxx, let me know what you guys got. You have to tell me exactly where, but I would love to know in what state or somewhere around anything what you guys find at TJ Maxx and if you find any of the same things that I did. Again, my other video going over the whole whole process and the shopping process, which is a lot of fun, by the way. I'll leave that below and I'll put it up in the cards as well. But that's it. Thank you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so very much for watching in whatever part of the world you're in on and around. I hope you're having an amazing day and an amazing week. And we'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye.